all these years you work uh, to put yourself in a position um, for a lot of fighters it takes them a few years it took me uh, from the beginning of my career it's been uh, going on 18 years um, as a professional going on 12 years now it took me 12 years uh, to get to this point you know uh, a lot of guys uh, would have quit if you haven't become a champion within the first five six years uh, they fall off um, I, I I put my bid in. I did my time. I double. I doubled that, and um, I'm just now getting to my plateau. Okay. I'm Erickson, the Hammer Lubin, 18 years old, 7 0, 6 knockouts, fighting over there in um, Pittsburgh, November 14th. My man, Monty Clay, over here, he's gonna do work against Ross Soccer. You already know. He over here at the Miami IMP gym, we out here working, getting prepared. Grinding hard. Yes, sir. Enough said with my man, I got to give him his props, though. Young boy, happy birthday to you, man. Early Thank birthday you. tomorrow, man. Young boy gonna be 19. Doing this thing, making major noise, man. I wish I was that good when I was that age, man. So, salute. Yeah, can I get an introduction yeah, sure. to everybody? Sure, man. Yeah, yeah can I introduce, yeah, introduce yourself? Space McKellen. I'm still, I'm still around. Give me some. <laughs> yeah, he's still around. I got to give him his props, too. Coach know what he's talking about, man. He said a couple of things, a couple of inspiring things to me, man. It means a lot to me. Uh, if a lot of people don't see, and he see things that I go to show that he, he know what he's talking about. He know what he's doing. I like talking to people to know what they're talking about. <laughs> I hate talking to somebody, the, 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 the public, to the think they know. Their opinion is, they don't know jack shit. The average fight of the day is just throwing punches. That's all he's doing. You hit me, I hit you three times, hit me four. Bang, 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 bang. It makes an exciting fight. There's a lot of action. That's ABC. But, that, but ain't no art to that. You're going to be short-lived. You can believe that. You'll be short-lived. They don't know how to fight. That's how come you get a good guy to know how to fight. Like, you know how to fight. You can stay there for 10 years, Long 12 years, is. 13 years. You, Bernard Hopkins, Floyd, guys like that because of your skill level. Man, one of the men behind the operation. Best manager in the world. All right. Best man. I'm Henry Rivalta. I manage a few of the prospects here that uh, some of them that are promoted by MP, some of them that are not. But the first time that I was able to actually see him was when he got out of the ring after he fought Alan Herrera. And I went to shake his hands, his hands was hurting, so he gave me some dab. Some pound. <laughs> gave me some pound. And, uh, and I said, wow, because that was a fight that I think that all of us were on our feet. Uh, oh, standing no, ovations no, were being it. given round after round after round. I hadn't seen a fight like that yeah. since Mickey Ward, Arturo Gotti, round nine, actually. You know, this is just a real nice place to be as far as the athletes is concerned. And, uh, you know, being in a place that the people actually give a damn about the fighter means everything in the world. Because this everything. boxing business is a cutthroat business. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've so been saying it for years. For you to be part of them, it's going to be a real pleasure. I know Mike really enjoyed watching you fight. Uh, Jimmy Hayes, marketing director for IMP. I helped put all the uh, shows together along with my partner, Frank Brown. Uh, also, right man, Henry Revolta. Uh, we basically handle the sponsorships, uh, making sure that the fights go off without a hitch, and also, Coming to the new year, we're going to be making sure there are 26 TV spots all of a home at a casino where um, we're also going to be producing our reality show. So uh, 2015 is going to be a big year for us. A very huge, big year. huge. And, and now we got Monte, it's even bigger. My man. But finally, I put on the perform. Been performing. Been been doing this like this. I told them, don't call this a comeback. I've been here for years and been doing this for years. But um, with the performance I just did, uh, August 8th, that was the one that... Uh, that was the icing on the cake right there for me. Uh, candidate for fight of the year. Do I believe I'll fight for a title in 2015? Absolutely. Uh, do I believe I can fight and uh, rumble with the best of them? Absolutely. Uh, I am the best of them. Been trying to, it just took me a long time to prove it to everybody. You know, it finally took me a long time to get my, uh, my rec, you know, get my recognition. Finally getting it. And uh, feels good.